This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson, the program design process. Winning buzzer. Ah, that, that last thing, oof, grammar, yikes. The last thing that, that is missing from your project guide's description of this project is the buzzer. It should buzz a high tone if the player won wins and a low tone if player two wins okay so do this so far we've been able to just use the player parameter directly to report which player won but that won't work for buzzing different sounds inside the condition the conditional which is that if statement in the check win thing check win function inside the ch conditional that checks if a player won You'll need to add another conditional that checks if the player was player equal equal, which is the equality operator. One equal sign makes a variable. Two equal sign compares. Hey, are these things the same? It, equal equal red. The buzz play. The buzzer should play a higher note. Otherwise, or else, that's a big hint. It should play low. All right. So way down here, they say inside the conditional. So first, we want to check if the player won. Because we shouldn't check which player it is if we're not going to use the buzzer. We're only going to buzz if a player won. How do we know if a player won? Well, if their Y value, right, is below 350 down here. So if their Y value is greater than 350, not below, greater than 350, someone won. Then since we're going to play the buzzer, we're going to check who won. And we're going to do just like they did here. Player equals equals and then in quotes red. Because if it's red, we're going to high note. Okay, so, and then else, I want to add my else. So, whatever happens, if it's red, this is going to run. If we're not red, whatever's in here doesn't run, and the else statement runs, which would be when we're blue. So, if we're not red, it skips this stuff, but always will run the else. If we are red, it's going to skip whatever code I put here, but never run the else code. All right, so now we need our buzzer. So let's go over here to circuit and buzzer play tempo. No, let's just use frequency. That's all we've used before. All right. And then frequency and duration. So I'm going to increase the length a bit. Um, I don't know, 400. So, and we wanted a, uh, we'll say 200, that should be fine. We wanted a high frequency for red and a low frequency for blue. Let's test. <laughs> and well, of course, gotta try the other one. Ha! And red is definitely higher. Cool! We did it! We have a game! Awesome, let's keep going.